Да где он падает? О, вот, слушай, ля, ля. падает! Ебучий случай, ля! Hi guys, it's Seat. Welcome back to Warhawk Defense. We previously reported the loss of three Russian fighters in a single day. A fact denied by Russian authorities. However, with modern technology and available footage, the incident cannot be concealed. Additionally, the video provides insight into the sinking of the Russian landing ship Kaiser Kunikov. A video appeared online that reportedly shows the crash of one of the Russian planes shot down by Ukrainian armed forces in the area of temporarily occupied Diakovo village in Luhansk region. Ебать его в рот, блядь! Да это за школой, вот туда иди. Ну мы вот видим, оно упало, где улица, прикинь. Где Любовь Николаевна живет за мюзка. The recently sacked Admiral Viktor Sokolov was reportedly dismissed for ordering the large landing ship Caesar Kunikov to go to sea without a working propulsion system. The Ukrainian sea drone attack on 14th February is said to have ambushed the ship while it was under tow. Sokolov's sacking took place without an official explanation, and there was also no explanation of what the Caesar Kunikov was doing off Alupka in Crimea at the time it was sunk. The VTK Ojpu Telegram channel has published an unconfirmed explanation of both occurrences. According to a source quoted by the channel, the Caesar Kunikov had suffered a serious technical malfunction and had left Novorossiysk on the night of 12 of February to go to Sevastopol for repairs. It was unable to provide independent propulsion, so it was accompanied by tugs. Sokolov, who was until this week the commander of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, is said to have been well aware of the threat from sea drones, particularly to a vessel with reduced capabilities, but still issued the order. It resulted in the loss of the ship. According to the source, there were no fatalities during the attack on 14th February. The crew was rescued or evacuated before the ship went down, but a number of them were seriously injured and are still fighting for their lives. The large landing ship Novo Cherkasik was also under repair when it was destroyed at Feodosia, which is much closer to Novorossiysk. The Caesar Kunikov's voyage to Sevastopol suggests that the ship repair facilities at Feodosia may be inoperable after that attack. The IK-9 prison colony is burning in Solokumsk, Russian Perm region. 13,000 square feet of the building is engulfed in the massive fire. Russian fascists were doing a show-and-tell for their children using an RPG with a live grenade during a Sambo tournament in occupied Melitopol in Ukraine when a kid pulled the trigger. Lots of fascist occupiers are injured. No, Braski, where? Ukrainian soldier finds evidence of war crimes on camera stolen by Russian invaders. The camera contains photos of a family from a Ukrainian village that was occupied by Russians for a month, as well as photos of Russian soldiers themselves and evidence of their war crimes. One video shows a line of civilians, including children, being led away with their hands and eyes tied. And they are supposedly fighting fascism in Ukraine. Ukrainian M2A2 shooting at a Leopard 2A6 and an M2A2 both abandoned. The combat took place during the night and obviously close to those vehicles were Russian positions.
The Russian propagandists are as happy as Snow Kings that they have eliminated a German Leopard 2A6 of the 47th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces at Avdivka. But they don't mention the fact that they lost 35 tanks T-72 and T-90. After gaining control of Avdivka, the Russians are now targeting Kramatorsk, Slavyansk, and Chasiv Yar, three of the four remaining fortifications intended to delay the Russian advance. Over the last few hours, both cities have been heavily attacked by MLRS, ballistic missiles, drones, and KH-22 cruise missiles launched by strategic bombers. The Russians are attempting to target areas where Ukrainians have reserves and are regrouping. The Ukrainian army fighting in this region hasn't rotated for three months, and most of the soldiers are exhausted. Even in these conditions, the Ukrainians will stand and offer solid resistance due to the fortifications, but the situation is expected to be even more intense than it was months ago, especially considering the increased activity of the Russian Air Force over the front due to the lack of anti-aircraft defenses from Ukrainian units. Why is the situation so serious for the Ukrainian army at this stage of the war? The entire front is facing numerous shortages, and the Russians are increasing the pressure. The question is not if the Russians will open new fronts, but when they will do so. The death of Alexei Navalny cannot go unanswered by the international community, says Senator Lindsey Graham. Why don't we do this? I just got off the phone with uh, two Democratic senators. Let's make Russia state-sponsored terrorism under U.S. law. Let's make them pay a price for killing Navalny. It would allow the Navalny family to go to U.S. court and sue Putin's Russia for killing of their loved one. A state-sponsored terrorism designation is a game-changer. It would allow more sanctions. It would open up the American courtroom. Do you expect legislation? on that year. this week? Yes, absolutely. President Biden told Putin, if something happens to Bali, you're going to pay a price. President Biden, I agree with you. The price they should pay is to make Russia a state sponsor of terrorism like Iran, Cuba, and North Korea. They deserve this designation. Uh, Putin's been killing people, opposition leaders, for decades now. He's dismembered Syria. He's one of the world's Senator worst Graham. actors. He's an indicted war criminal. Thank you all for watching. Stay with Warhawk Defense for the best update on Ukraine. Comment, like, subscribe, become our member and stay strong. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.